Okay, so here's another example that we're going to do the Chinese postman problem, or the Czech snowplow problem. So to do it, we're going to solve the Chinese postman problem for this particular graph, stating which edges need to be repeated and the length of the shortest path. So in doing so, we take a look at these, and we notice that there A has 3, a degree of 3, B has a degree of 3, C has a 1, 2, 3, 4, has a degree of 5, D has a degree of 3, E is 2 and F is 4. And so I recognize that I have, in total, I have four vertices of an odd degree. I have A, B, C, and D are all odd. Okay, and so now I have four vertices that are odd, and there are steps to consider when we have four odd vertices. Okay, and so first step is to write down all possible pairings between the odd vertices, and there will be three of them. So that means we are going to consider if we have uh, ver ver verse A, B, and C, D. And we're going to consider the pair A, C to be D, and A, D, and so I'm left with B, C. Okay, so here are all the possible pairings. For each pairing, find the shortest total distance between the two vertices in the pair. So if I'm going to go from A to B, well, I can clearly see that 12 is the shortest distance, and CD, that's going to be 10. And so the total of this distance is 22. If I go to AC, this is 17 is the shortest. I also compare it to 12 plus 17, and you have to look for every possibility, not just the most direct. The direct is usually the shortest, but not always. So that's going to be 17, and B to D here is 8, which is shorter than the 27. And so that's a total of 25. And finally, AD, getting from A to D. Well, if I just by inspection here, I could go 12, 17, and 10, or I can go 12 plus 8, 17, and 10. And so by looking at it, it looks like the 12 and 8 is the shortest. That's 20. And then B to C is the shortest one here is going to be, well, this is 8 and 10, that's 18, but the shortest then is going to be 17. So 17 is the shortest, and that gives me a total of 37. Okay, and so that means this particular pairing is the shortest weighting, and so I'm going to be doing A to B. I'm going to do A to B twice, and I'm going to do C to D twice. Okay, and so if I want to calculate the total weight of the graph, the total weight of this graph is going to be all of these particular pairings. So the total weight is going to be, and I'll do this in green, I'll do 15 plus 15 plus 16, 20, and 10 plus 16 plus 20 plus 10, these ones here, plus 10 plus 17 and 8, plus 17 plus 8, plus 12, plus 17, plus 12, plus 17. And that total, when I do it, if I throw out my calculator, I end up with 140. And then the total length, I'm going to have to do these ones twice. So I'm going to take that, I'm going to add plus the two extra, the two doubles which is 22, and so the total is going to end up being 140 plus 22 is 162 is the shortest distance. All right, and so the trail, to do a possible trail, well, I'm going to start at the odd vertex, and because I didn't say where I had to start, I'm just going to start at an odd vertex, so I'm going to start at A, uh, for no good reason other than it's the first of the alphabet. I'm going to go A to F, F to E, so A to F to E, and then I could go to C, down to D, to C to D, up to F, back to C, back to C, up to B, back down to D, to C, from D 
to C again, doing that's the doubled C, going up to A, back to B, and then returning back up to A. This is one possible path, but there's lots of different combinations that will work. And anyone that does each trail once, but the shortest ones twice, will be a sufficient end to the Chinese postman problem.